things that broke people do that rich people don't. All right, so it's 1 a.m. and you're just scrolling through your TikTok for you page when out of a sudden you hear this AI voice yell at you about how broke you are and how you're not in Mykonos right now popping champagne bottles and driving around in a Rolls Royce. So you immediately jump out of bed and you start thinking about ways of how you're gonna go from making minimum wage at your campus job to flying private and eating caviar for breakfast. Does anybody know if caviar even tastes good? I swear, it sounds like it would taste so bad. All right, seriously though, I can't be the only one that has these moments, right? And if you're anything like me, you're gonna wanna stick around for these seven things that could be keeping you from generating wealth. Here are seven things that broke people do that rich people don't. Now, despite what everyone says, the truth is most things can be fixed with more money. Of course, there are things that money can't buy, such as love, happiness, and just overall fulfillment. However, what money does buy you is freedom and options. Let's say you're unhappy because you don't see your family as much as you would want to. In most cases, the only reason why you can't just pack a bag and go see them for a week or two is because you don't have enough money. Or because going on the trip would mean taking days of work which then will cause you to have less money. Let's say you're unhappy with your job and you just can't wait for the clock to hit 5 p.m. for you to get the hell out of there. The only reason why you want to just quit that job and start working on things that actually give you fulfillment is because rent is due in two weeks and you probably won't have enough to pay it. Now, sure, money won't buy you a girlfriend or make people like you more, but with money, you can do things that people value and look for in a partner or in a friend, which then could help you get a girlfriend or expend your group of friends. So I guess money does buy you a girlfriend. Now you might be thinking, well, well, Lucas, doesn't that mean they're just with you because of the money? Well, let me ask you this. Would you rather date somebody who has the means to spoil you and show you a good time? Or would you rather date somebody who makes you pick from the McDonald's value menu? The truth is when we're looking for a partner or just looking for new friends, there are certain things that we look for. We want to be around people that are on an overall upward trajectory. We don't want to be friends or date somebody who doesn't have anything going for them, right? And a lot of the times we measure that by money or success. Now, there's nothing wrong with being broke temporarily. The problem is being broke and accepting that as your reality. I'm pretty sure there are people out there who are broke and are completely okay with it. They're happy. And that's totally fine. I mean, you can totally be broke and happy. The same way you can also be rich and sad, but wouldn't you rather be rich and happy? The truth is you don't have to pick between one or the other. You can be both. The number one reason why people stay broke is because they have a broke mindset. Now, I am not talking about numbers in their checking account. Instead, I'm talking about their overall attitude towards money. In the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki talks about the difference between a broke and a rich mindset. In the book, even when his mentor was on his last dollar, he still didn't have the mindset of a broke person. I understand this might be a tough concept to grasp, so let me put it in layman's terms for you guys. Having a poor mindset means having a mindset of fear and scarcity. People with a poor mindset, oftentimes we choose security and comfort over taking risk. They often exchange their time for money and rely simply on their job as their only source of income. They tend to spend their money on stuff such as consumer goods, cars, and other luxury. People with a rich mindset are focused on generating wealth and are always looking to leverage assets and money to make them rich. They're willing to take calculated risks and learn from their failures. And most importantly, they avoid buying things that won't make them more money. Which brings us to the very first secret of the rich, and that is Poor people buy liabilities while rich people buy assets. Take a second and really notice this. Poor people focus way too much on buying flashy things that are gonna impress other broke people. I'm talking about expensive cars and gadgets and clothes and just overall luxuries that don't really add any value to your life. In the finance world, these are referred to as liabilities. And that is because they don't help you make any more money. In fact, most of the time, all of these luxury goods are gonna cost you even more money in the long run with maintenance and just overall upkeeping costs. For example, the most common liability I can think of are luxury vehicles. These would depreciate so hard in the first couple of years and they will require a lot of maintenance throughout their lifetime. Most of the time, people buy these cars disregarding all of these additional costs that come with owning them simply because of the status that driving a vehicle like that comes with. I'm gonna let you in on that secret, okay? Rich people do not care. In fact, if you're driving around in a brand new BMW and a rich person sees you in it and they know that, that you just have a normal job and you're not really making 200,000 a year, they're gonna know that you cannot afford that car and they're gonna think less of you. I am sorry to break it to you, but that's the reality. Rich people, really rich people understand that luxury cars and luxury goods are liabilities and that they're not good financial decisions. That's why a lot of the times when you see rich people coming up, they are usually driving beater cars and wearing normal clothes. They're not wearing anything flashy. 
It's only when they make it that they start actually spending money on these things. So in reality, when you're buying an expensive bag or an expensive car to impress other people, you're only really impressing the people that you shouldn't be worried about. You should be worried about how can you position yourself with the rich people and get them to teach you their ways rather than trying to show off in front of other poor people who don't understand the concept of money anyways. The second thing that poor people do that rich people don't is that poor people surround themselves with small-minded individuals. Poor people surround themselves with losers while rich people surround themselves with winners. You are the average of the five people that are closest to you. If you surround yourself with four small-minded individuals, you're gonna be the fifth one, okay? It's as simple as that. By being around those people, you're setting the benchmark for money, success, career, everything. If your baseline is made up of people who have a small mind and don't really think about generating wealth or about their long-term goals, you're gonna do the exact same thing. Now, I'm not saying you have to surround yourself with NASA engineers, but the devil is on the details, okay, guys? The people that are around you might not seem all that bad at a glance, but if they're always complaining about their situation, talking about how it's just the economy and the patriarchy and how it's not really their fault and it's just a system working against them well guess what that's gonna rub off on you too and soon you're gonna be a whining crybaby too most things that happen to you are usually your fault in one way or the other yes sometimes things happen to you that are completely outside of your control and you have no say over it i get that but by shifting your mindset you can take control over your life and surround yourself with people who are doing the same thing when i'm around my friends we're talking about different ways to make more money and how we can quit our jobs we hardly ever talk about sports or politics politics because those things are completely outside of our control and it doesn't help us get any closer to our goals. Number three is that rich people are always learning. Rich people understand that new opportunities present themselves by the day. In the age that we live in, with the new advancements in AI and the creator economy, the world is reinventing itself as we speak. While a poor person would just look at all these changes and be a bystander and just simply comment on it, a rich person would try to understand them and figure it out how they can use these new technologies and all these new advancements to make them more money. Learning does not only mean going to college for four years and studying in a specific subject. I personally know somebody who went to school for psychology just to then get out of school and realize that people in tech are making three times his salary and working from home. He then went out and signed up for a three months coding bootcamp, paid out of pocket, and took the risk, which then landed him a job with a six figure starting salary. That's a rich mindset. Number four is poor people focus on saving money while rich people focus on making more of it. Rich people understand that saving money can only get you so far. Those who know me personally know that I'm one of the most frugal people you ever meet. Someone once told me I don't mind spending money, but I hate wasting it. And I've lived by that rule ever since. But something else that I've learned early on in my career is that if you don't make a lot of money to begin with, you won't be able to save all that much and you'll be better off focusing on how can you increase your income rather than focusing all of your energy on nickeling and diming and figuring out how you can save money here and there. While saving money is very important to both rich and poor individuals, the rich tend to focus more on expanding their income streams by making good financial decisions and investing the money that they do earn. Number five is that poor people are constantly comparing themselves to others while rich people understand that they're running their own race. Some people go to school for four years that get out of school and have a job waiting for them with a high paying salary. Some people go to med school with another few years and then residency just to then finally become a doctor after like seven to 10 years. Some people become CEOs in their 30s and some people take 30 years to become CEOs. The point is we're all running our different race and the worst thing you could do is keep on comparing yourself to somebody who's running a different race than you. Rich people understand their goals and what they have to do to achieve them and they focus on it. What most poor people do is they try to look around and see what other successful people are doing and try to hop on the bandwagon and become successful. Stick to your plan and be patient. Building wealth takes a lot of time and consistency. You should find something that is worth working towards in the long run and stick with it. Overcome the obstacles, the setbacks and the failures and eventually your time will come. Number six is that rich people understand that not everybody deserves a say. Poor people will oftentimes turn to those closest to them to ask for advice regarding their careers or their lives. Understand that most people have no clue what they're talking about. And most of the time, their opinion is only gonna make you doubt yourself even more and bring you more confusion and anxiety. You wouldn't ask your mechanic uncle why your back hurts so much when you sleep on your side, right? You would save those questions for a doctor. Rich people understand that everyone deserves an opinion, but not everybody deserves a say, especially when it comes to their lives. Do not ask people for directions to places they haven't been to. If you have an idea, 
do your research and become an expert on it. Reach out to a mentor and ask about what they did right and what they did wrong and best practices on how to get where they are right now. But don't go around asking your family members what they think about starting a finance podcast when all they do is listen to cable TV. Not only are they gonna shut you down and fill your head with doubt, but they're also gonna give you the wrong information. Information that doesn't really capture where market trends are going to and what the next generation are doing. Number seven is poor people talk too much. One thing that I noticed when spending a lot of time with people who are extremely wealthy is that they don't talk that much. I noticed that rich people tend to sit back and observe the room. The more you talk, the more it cheapens your message. Rich people tend to only talk when what they have to say provides more value value than the silence of the room. By speaking less, you avoid controversies, unwanted attention, and the risk of oversharing. Oftentimes, poor people tend to talk your ear off, incriminating themselves with controversial topics and oversharing their goals and ambitions that they really should have kept it private. The less you talk, the more they will listen when you do. All right, number eight as a bonus to you guys, poor people follow their passion while rich people focus on solving problems. Rich people understand that for the most part, money cannot be created. It can only be transferred. With that in mind, why would somebody give you their money? Rich people focus on finding inefficiencies in the market and they position themselves to serve that industry. The biggest lie as we were ever told in high school is that if you do what you love, you're never gonna work a day in your life. And that is simply not true. Do you really think that the Saudi man who facilitates the transportation of billions of dollars worth of crude oil was passionate about oil when he was growing up? No, he couldn't care less about oil, okay? He found a huge hole in the market. He positioned himself to solve that problem and serve that industry. Most successful people in the world did not make their millions by creating the newest 100% sustainable ginware brand or starting the latest craft coffee shop downtown. In fact, most of the successful people that I know are in boring, boring businesses. I'm talking about lumber, urban planning, or consulting. Rich people focus on being practical rather than being sexy. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, these are the seven things that poor people do that rich people don't. If you enjoyed this video, please, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button in the bottom here and click right here to watch my latest video.